channel and welcome to today's video today I am here in my kitchen and I have recently got some beautiful beautiful things from Timu and I thought you know what it is time to refresh this kitchen so this is going to be very simple very easy to do I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can warm up your kitchen because that is always my goal in this black and white kitchen is to warm it up so if you are ready let's go ahead and get started I am starting off with a clean slate. I have nothing here in my kitchen but the things that I use. I did make sure to wipe everything down. That way I am starting off with a clean canvas. Now I am going to lay out all of the decor that I want to use just to double check and make sure that all the color palette flows together, the textures. I will be DIYing this little piece right here. I have a beautiful frame for it. And these peonies I have been loving decorating with these so you better believe they are making their way into the kitchen I'm also adding this fluted little candle because I did get a fluted little ice machine that you will see later on and I'm just looking for warm tones I don't want anything cold in my kitchen since my kitchen is very black white and gray but now that I have my warm tone decor I'm going to start off by sprucing up my island this island we eat on so I need to keep it as simple as possible I don't want to put too much on here I'll be placing a board with a vase with some of my peony stems I did add about four of them in here and I'm gonna add my little candle to it that is as much as I'm going to be adding to this island right here going to start on decorating this corner of my kitchen above my fridge I'll be adding this thrifted basket this can hold any random things that I have on top of my fridge and it adds coziness and warmth again I'm gonna bring in these stems from Walmart they are so simple and so cute Now since I don't have a window above my sink, I want something beautiful to look at. And I did have this print that I had there before. And you know when you stare at something for too long, you get tired of it. So I got tired of staring at this print right here. But this is a very easy fix. I'm going to go ahead and take this old print out. And I did actually thrift this frame for only a couple of dollars. And I'll be adding in this beautiful print. I got this print off of Etsy. And I just got, print, got it printed at Walmart. I'm going to cut it to size and place it in my frame. And this is so simple and easy to do. It is such a great way to change up your artwork if you are tired of it. You can go ahead and put some Mod Podge on it to make it look as if this print is painted but I'm keeping things very simple today I'm just gonna tape the back of this to my little border put it back in place and I'm gonna hang this over my sink and this really did create a new look Oh, 
for my sink area, I'm keeping things very simple and basic. I'll be adding my soap dispenser and I'll also be draping a tea towel on the sink. This is practical. I use tea towels all the time and it adds a layer of coziness. Next, I will be working on this little nook in my kitchen, but before I do that, I would like to thank Gevi for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This is Gevi's ice machine Adela, and not only is she beautiful and so aesthetic, but she also creates the most perfect nugget ice. Summer is right around the corner, and let's just say that we are an ice family. We add ice to water, we make it to add smoothies, to slushies, to iced coffee. You get the spiel, we use ice every day in the summertime, so I'm really glad I got this just in time for summer. After letting this machine stand upright for a couple of hours, just like the instructions stated, I started the cleaning process, which was very simple and very, very easy to do. After about three cleaning cycles, I filled up this tank. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this tank. I love the fluted detail on this. It is just so stunning and beautiful. Now, this tank is new to Gevi. The previous tank, you needed to con constantly refill it, but this new one gives you endless ice that automatically starts to refill when the machine senses that the bucket is low on ice. I saw the first few pieces of ice within 30 minutes, which is so crazy. I did not expect it to create ice this fast. And after about two hours, the bucket was completely full of ice. Shop Gabby's Adela Ice Machine down in the description box, where you will also find a discount code to save you some money, as well as all of the links. Again, thank you Gabby for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Moving right along, I'll be bringing in this pedestal and I am going to be placing this little table lamp right on it. This little table lamp is from Timu. It is so darling. It's like vintage inspired. I absolutely love it. Right next to it, I'll be adding this little thrifted vase, if you will, and I'll be adding those Walmart baby breaths in here just to tie in the greenery throughout the kitchen. For my stove, I also wanted to spruce it up a little bit. I'll be placing this really beautiful print here above my stove. I do eventually want to hang this up. And on my stove, I'm going to place this little canister where I keep my salt. It adds a little bit of warmth and it's very practical. On the right hand side of my stove I have our Keurig and I want to warm this area up as well. I'm going to bring in this board and I'll be placing my Walmart vase on here. Now this vase right here is the smaller one and I did recently go to Home Goods and I found these beautiful stems. I'm going to go ahead and place them here in this vase. And then to house our little golden teaspoons, I'm going to bring in this really beautiful textured cup that I bought on Amazon. I have a whole set of them and I'll be placing our golden spoons right into it. And this warms up the space so much and displays my beautiful cup and spoons. And this about wraps up my decorating. Of course, we have to appreciate the old before we can appreciate the new. And it is amazing what adding just a couple of items can do to your kitchen.
like that with a few simple warm toned items my kitchen is warm it is inviting it is beautiful and cozy i am all about it i hope this gave you some ideas on how you can cozy up your kitchen bring in some warmth to it if it is very similar to mine it is I find it, it is very difficult to warm up and cozy up a kitchen because everything is just, it's just not cozy over here, especially my kitchen. Black, white, and gray are not cozy colors at all, but by adding a few touches of wicker baskets, some cutting boards, some, I don't know, greenery to bring your kitchen to life really does make a difference. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.